<laughs> they follow me back in here. Oh, they think they're getting grain already. You guys aren't getting grain yet. I'll get it to you here in a little bit. We got some stuff to do. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having an awesome evening tonight. Um, me and my brother, my, I have my brother come over here because I have to move something. Um, I watched Daniel Arms from Arms Family Homestead. He was preparing all of his um, pins and all that stuff for lambing season. And I got me thinking, I need to do the same thing. Um, I'm not really preparing a whole lot of stuff, but what we are going to do today, and I have to have help, is I'm going to move this little shelter. I made a couple of lambing jugs out of it where it turned into a pig pen, obviously. You know, if you guys have been following me very long, you know I have my couple pigs in here. Um, but I'm going to move this over, and we're going to put it over in a dry spot right over there. Um, because like Daniel's, his goats are about to kid. Well, my ewes should be uh, lambing within the next three to four weeks. So um, since it's actually a decent evening, my brother was free for about an hour, hour or two. We're going to get this moved over, hopefully, if it's not embedded in that dirt too much. But we're going to try to move it. I'll show you guys. And we'll talk a little bit about what we got going on. Come on. Dad, move. Close up. Hey, tell my brother quit crying. He's all worried about this. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to do. I got, I got to get out of here now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cry, baby. He's just mad because he ain't got a pair of my new gloves. Check that out. You can still use your old phone with these. You know that, Vincent? Funny, I can, I can use my phone is, with these. Right now, ain't nothing funny about this. He's gonna make something up, and I'll have to edit this part out because he's always telling stories and lies. This guy's a storyteller. I'm telling you. I, I have a pair of gloves just like him. Let's see them. I, they're not on me. Uh huh. Uh huh. This may be a little harder than we thought, um, but my pig water still has water in it. I did lose a nipple off there. And I'll have to fix that for next year, but I gotta get this out of the way. Hey. This, thing's li this thing is liable to fall apart on us when we try to move it, but hopefully not. Oh, did you get another one? Oh, well, I got another one. Oh, you easy. got two out of my seven. Uh, I, ain't compla I, ain't I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. I ain't All I got to do is feed some chicken tonight. He comes over and works for He likes that teriyaki chicken just like me, and uh, we might make some of that here in a little bit. Okay, so Jesse was making his way down to the road and I don't have a gate up yet so we had to corral him back over here. And I don't want the sheep in here yet because we're trying to move it, they'll get all in our way. So I think we got this broke up where we can move it so we're gonna try to take it over there. Time for a break. Well, well, how's that, Vincent? You think that'll work? Oh, that's good, actually. We're out of the good. pig poop, at least.
yeah we kind of got lazy was gonna pull it well we ended up pulling a couple boards off but the good thing is the good news is it's still it's still standing it's still gonna work great but i'm gonna be in the doghouse for this one because look what brandy has to look at for a while there's the house there's the pan yeah, she's gonna be mad about that. Yeah. Maybe so maybe she won't notice, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe she'll never even notice it, and she don't watch my videos, so she won't. Even, maybe she won't even know. We'll find out. <laughs> I guarantee she doesn't notice. Okay. So Vincent, thanks a lot for coming over here. Hey man. Hey. Oh, right Thirty-five there. dollars. Oh, you know my wrist. My wrist is broken, and he got like a little man got, grip. Yeah, I don't know. These gloves. Nothing hurts these things. <laughs> oh, but anyways, uh, I just wanted to show show y'all. Um, kind of it's just the reality of having a little homestead hobby farm which I like to call it um, You have to do things like this just like Daniel said um, he has to prepare all his uh, things for landing season And that got me thinking man. I got to I got to get this moved out of the way because they're calling for more rain Oh like three or four days from now. So that's what that's, freeze too. Yeah, that's supposed to get really really cold to like 10 degrees um, Minus nine wind chills stuff like that But over there where we had it was a good spot until I put pigs in there the pigs rutted around the pigs uh, destroyed the back tent. So uh, Vincent said he'd come over and help me sometime maybe this weekend if it's not too cold, like 10 degrees out. Um, we'll try to fix this up and get it ready for the lambs uh, when they come. Because I got two ewes for sure um, that are about ready to have lambs here shortly. The other five, they might have singles. We, I don't know yet. They're just they're young lambs. So it's kind of hard to tell uh, when exactly they're pregnant unless milk starts coming in and they start showing the signs of pregnancy. Um, the first the first time, what's up, Gabby? Sorry, Gabby. <laughs> the first sign, obviously, is they start to get bigger on the belly on both on both sides. Start uh, coming out like that, coming out not like not like this, not like this, but outwards. Um, so that's like the first sign that they're pregnant. And the little and those little lambs I got over there, and I'll zoom in for y'all. Uh, they're not really showing that the signs like the two older ewes are. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have some lambs on the ground here shortly. Just don't know how many yet. And, you know. So. Also heard that you can tell by they get real moody and stuff. Yeah. No, no, that's that's uh, that's Dumb. that's uh, I think humans. Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, but I'll show you some. I'll show you these sheep, and then we're gonna get off here. It's starting to get dark on us. Vincent wants me to go in there and cook some teriyaki chicken. You know what I'm saying? Fresh, uh, not it's it's fresh for say that we butchered it. Vincent helped me butcher this chicken, and um, we butchered like 25, 30 of them back in was it the summer? Yeah, yeah, we did a whole bunch of them. Yeah, so uh, we butchered those, and I got some thawed out, ready to cook, and. Probably won't show you none of that, but we gotta get off here and we gotta feed the man. He, here's, he, here's the only he, thing is I'm a vegan now though. Oh no, 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 now he's, we don't talk about vegans on this channel anymore. You guys, oh. you know how sensitive they are. So I we're not know. even gonna bring up the word vegan. Right. I, don't, I don't even know where that came from. I don't even know who this guy is. All right guys, hope you guys liked this video. Just doing a little bit of farm chores that as soon as I got off work, as soon as Vincent got off work, he met me over here, uh, got knocked out of the way. So that's one less thing we have to worry about. And that's a big deal. You need to have a dry, uh, warm place for your lambs. Um, the the older ewes not necessarily they need they need to be dry but sheep are crazy they'll stand out in the middle of the field and just get poured on and snowed on they don't care but little lambs they have to have a dry warm place and uh, this is close enough that I always run extension cord and I'll, I'll put my heat lamps on there whenever they have them so but we'll bust this into two uh, lambing jugs and we'll go from there I all right guys can I give a shout out to my channel or what we're doing here tonight no not tonight that's for another time right. I already told you so Vincent's involved with uh, uh, um, a ministry but i'm not giving him a shot because this ministry they sell let's see they sell, they, they sell these hats and shirts i said look i saw have you on my channel but i need to be representing shirts oh, so God. until then no you're not coming on here I, I just, I just <laughs> you know how it is i want a t-shirt i want a t-shirt so make it happen vince make it happen that's, that's, so. your shirt I'm <laughs> all right guys hey if you like this uh, video smash that like button like always and if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing right over there click that little uh yellow thing that says subscribe and you can click that little bell to get all the notifications whenever i post new content thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next video